our students and our staff and our parents watch our board meetings, because many do, they need to feel a sense of confidence in that leadership. And people should be able to look to us and say, ah, look at the processes they have set up. It's professional. It's prepared. I want people to look at the Dayton School Board and say, that is a well-run governing body. Okay, no. Eat us no. Confidence is the last thing Daytonians have in their school board after the last year and a half of chaos under Ron Accor. Hazel Roundtree, Ron Lee, Adil Bagiroff, and Joe Lacey hired a rookie superintendent, Ron Decor, and gave us drama at every board meeting right up to when they placed Cora on paid admin leave weeks after giving her an outstanding evaluation. For 2018, we have four new board members. Reverend Harris got to take his seat early, thanks to my forcing Adil Begiroff to resign in November because of a residency issue that I had made public in April. After John McManus said how the board should run, Sheila Taylor suggested Reverend Harris be the next board president based on his race. Once again, the board doesn't seem to know how to evaluate leadership. Reverend Walker, who's been on the board for seven years, clearly shows that he is incapable of following a basic procedural vote, and Harris, his heir apparent, follows blindly along. For those of you who don't attend board meetings regularly, when an employee resigns after signing a contract with the district, the board usually votes no to not accept the resignation. This is because the employee is voiding a contract. The board routinely votes on these throughout the year. This meeting, union leader David Romick asked them to accept two resignations because the employees were not leaving by choice but because of catastrophic medical issues. You watch and judge who you think should lead next year. Good evening. My name is David Romick and I'm proud to represent the members of the Dayton Education Association. You all know that periodically situations arise where I need to advocate that the board approve resignations which occur after July 10th. So I would recommend please accept the resignation after July 10th, uh, agenda item number one. Also agenda item under those July 10th resignations number nine, I ask the board to approve those two resignations, just to reiterate numbers one and nine. Uh, we will continue with the uh, uh, superintendent's recommendations. I'd like to request that the board approve the um, Human Resources DEA after July 10th, uh, as listed on the um, board agenda. Mr. President, can we just go with number two first? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, that's my motion. I'll put that in a form of a motion to, to accept uh, the recommendation yeah. for number two. Second okay. the motion. Okay, it's been properly moved to second uh, that, we in, that we accept uh, number two. Uh, is there a further discussion? Hearing none, we're ready to vote. President Walker? Yes. Dr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Lacey? No. Mr. Lee? No. Mr. McManus? No. Dr. Roundtree? Abstain. Right. We did not vote to accept it because it takes, three, it takes four votes vote. to accept it. So it is not uh, accepted. Mr. President. Yes. If I may, uh, perhaps uh, some of the members of the board are um, got some, uh, some line items um, confused here. Perhaps we might want to reconsider our actions. Council, would you mind, with the president's permission, um, uh, approaching the podium and explain what just occurred? Thank you. Good 
Good evening, board members. And I'll, I'll go out on a limb and speculate a little bit. Uh, the motion was to approve number two. Uh, number two was not an item that was discussed by President Romick earlier in the meeting. And a yes vote would mean that you are accepting number two's resignation after July 10th. And a no vote would mean that you are not accepting number two's resignation after July 10th. Mr. President, if I may. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. In other words, counsel, to be compliant with um, the DEA president's request, one would need to vote no on item two and yes on both items one and nine. That's correct, correct. Mr. Okay. Bannon. So thank you, counsel. Mr. President, if I may um, make the motion for the board to reconsider its action, mm -hmm. I think I think you would have had to have vote, and you would have had to have been a loser, to, <laughs> on the losing side. Okay. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's necessary if it didn't pass, but it's not, I think one of the people that voted yes is supposed to say, "Can we? Re I vote. You're I correct. Re vote." Okay. May I revote in light of the uh, current information? Yeah. So yours says no. Yes. Mr. Mr. President, a board member who voted um, in the affirmative needs it's to perhaps make a motion to reconsider the board's actions, at right. which point uh, another board member who voted in the affirmative needs to second that motion, and then the board will um, vote, vote to vote to then reconsider, and then we will take a uh, a revote. Mm -hmm. Our motion that we uh, re revote. Okay. Is there a second? Yes. Okay. So there's it's been properly moved a second that we uh, revote. Uh, can we uh, have a vote? I mean, uh, a vote, uh, a vote uh, on the motion to revote. Okay, President Walker. Yes. Dr. Harris. Yes. Mr. Lacey. No. Mr. Lee. No. Mr. McManus. Yes. Dr. Roundtree. Yes. yes. Four yeses, okay. two no. Okay. We have to vote on whether or not we vote. Oh, we were just voting since, oh, I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't know that was necessary. Right. <laughs> Forget it. This is so embarrassing. Okay, now, eat us alive. No. Let me get clarity. Where are we on this vote now? We, 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 got, we voted to re -vote. We, we voted to re -vote. Yes, Mr. Right. if I may be recognized, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. We Mr. have now voted uh, to reconsider our actions, at which point now a board member who voted in the affirmative on the last uh, motion will make um, a motion. Right, yes. So we will now, uh, somebody needs to make the motion to accept item two to come up for a vote. So we are now re-voting based upon our motion to reconsider okay. our actions. We are now back at the clean slate. Okay, then I'll, I motion that we, we accept the recommendation. Okay, thank you. On number two. Second. Okay, it has been properly moved and second that we accept the recommendation on number two. Now, uh, provide further clarity uh, again in terms of what we are voting for. Council, for the record, if you would please approach the podium with the president's permission. Good evening again. Um, item two, the motion is to accept item two. And so a no vote means that you do not accept the resignation for individual listed on number two. And a yes vote means that you do mm -hmm. accept the resignation after July 10th. And as Mr. McManus stated, in order to um, comply with President Romick's request, 
the board will vote no on item two and yes on items one and nine. Mr. President, if I may. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. So uh, members of the board, uh, to be in alignment with past practice on, on actions such as this, we will now need to vote no on item two. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that clarity, uh, Board Member McManus. I think uh, we're ready to vote. President Walker? No. Dr. Harris? No. Mr. Lacey? No. Mr. Lee? No. Mr. McManus? No. Dr. Roundtree? Abstain. Okay. Okay, so. Five no, one abstain. Okay. It's not approved. Through the whole voting mess, only John McManus demonstrated that he had the skills needed to lead this group of simpletons through the vote properly. It's clear that he's the only one qualified and experienced enough to be the next board president. The new board is already walking into a challenge of potentially closing schools, completing the firing of Ron DeCore, and working with an interim superintendent with a little over a year's experience in our district. If you want to know more about Dayton Public Schools, you can always read more on Israeli.com.